honestly, I get rejected every week. I mean, I, like I'm an actress. This is just part of our job. We go for these auditions and we do our very best and we try really, really hard and we really want it for all sorts of reasons because we really connect to this character on a deeper level. And then your agent will ring up and go, it's a no. <laughs> and you go, all right, OK. Well, I sort of bared my soul there and um, sort of maybe maybe shared my, my innermost feelings and, and really put myself on the line there and showed that I wanted it as well, which gives you a deep ick when it's really obvious that you want something and someone says, still no. But, oh my gosh, if I, if I worried about rejection anymore, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> How do you cope with that as an actress? Because, you know, for, for us sort of mere mortals who, who don't do what, what you do, the idea of really behaving in a way that you do at the start of a relationship where you do that almost mating dance of you really like someone and you want to show that you like them and you'd quite like them to like you back. So you have to have enough vulnerability and openness to be able to make that first step. But at any moment, they could laugh at you for doing this thing, but you still have to do it. Now, most people who do this in the in the dating world have become numb because they're just swiping left or right or whatever it you know, however that works. Um, but in, in real life, it can make you very closed off. It can make you bitter. It can make you resentful. How on earth do you do that as a job? Where, again, what, what's, what's in your toolkit to, to keep you going with that? It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, a great question, that. Um, and the answer is that it, 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 there is no answer, and it's, and it's different all the time. It depends where you catch me. It depends if I've been, you know, two weeks without a job or six months. <laughs> if, if you found me in a six month period, I'd be like, I don't cope very well with it, actually. <laughs> but the, the fact is, and this is just occurring to me as I speak, speaking to you, is that it's come up in my life an awful lot that when it is that I try and be, and this is in my professional life and in my dating life as well, when it is that I try and be everything that I think that person wants, the rejection hits a lot harder. Because I think, God, if only I'd been myself, if only I had said what I actually thought, if only I had behaved how I would have behaved if it was someone that I wasn't so desperate to impress, they might have liked me more. And consistently every single time when I am myself I receive a whole lot more success whether that's with other people or whether that's with potential employers and that is a huge lesson and once again that goes back to the statement that we were talking about earlier on that I posted on Twitter that you read out it was such a huge lesson for me in how when you're authentic and when you respect your authenticity that's when people respond consistently 